The sound of machine guns rip through Hodeida, hours after they were supposed to have fallen silent. Fighting was reported as early as Friday night, just a day after a ceasefire was agreed. Then on Saturday, the violence escalated. At least 29 fighters, including 22 Houthi rebels, reportedly died in the clashes and airstrikes. In a tweet, the UN envoy to Yemen said that he expects the two parties to respect their obligations as per the text and spirit of the Stockholm Agreement, and to engage in the immediate implementation of its provisions. Agreed on Thursday after a week of UN-sponsored peace talks in Sweden, a ceasefire between Houthi rebels and the Saudi-backed Yemeni government forces was supposed to come into effect immediately. The two sides have also agreed to withdraw forces from Hodeida. The city's port is the entry point for most of Yemen's commercial goods and crucial aid supplies. It's a lifeline for millions of Yemenis facing starvation, and the truce has been welcomed by locals. We're optimistic about the agreement and hope it will mean peace and stability. All the Yemeni people are hopeful that the ceasefire in Hodeida will stop the airstrikes and the aggression, and that life returns to normal and that people can return to their jobs. Since the war began in 2015, tens of thousands of people have died, and more than 14 million are on the brink of famine. It's hoped that last Thursday's accord, five years in the making, will pave the way for a wider truce when peace talks resume at the end of January.